answers right now and also begging for your help to solve a double murder in mid city. This happened on January 18th when three people were shot. Two of those people died and it happened on Bienville. WDSU's Jennifer Crockett joins us live this afternoon with some of the new information just released from the NOPD. Jen. A press conference just ended here and police are focusing on a car. They say that it is a gold or tan Chevy Tahoe or Suburban. They're not sure about the year. We are working to get you a picture of that suspect car, but they say that's the car that two people were driving whenever they shot three people and killed two of them back three weeks ago. It happened on Bienville. We're also looking, learning more information about the victims who died in that double homicide. According to her family, Ileana Hernandez was just at work caring for a disabled person when she was shot and killed. Police say the intended target was Santiago Rubio, who also died. Ms. Henderson's mother and employer begging for your help today to solve their murder. Aaliyah was murdered at her job, caring for her client who she loved for seven years in front of it, in front of him. Her grandchild was there, five years old. At what point do we stop? I lost my daughter to a senseless shooting. <laughs> and now I'm left to raise her daughters. <laughs> so anybody out there that knows something, please help me to help her daughters to find out who did this. <laughs> I, I can't do it by myself. I need your help. And again, police are looking for this car. We do have a picture for it now. You can see it on your screen, a tan or gold Chevy Tahoe or Suburban. Now, Ms. Henderson's family, along with her employer, have raised $10,000 to increase the reward for information in this case. You can report tips anonymously to Crime Stoppers at 504-822-1111. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Crockett. Back to you.